Trap man. Trap man. Hold on. He's wildin'. Yeah! What's good, y'all? Back at it again with another reaction. This time we have a new addition to my Sunday series. I know for those of you in the UK, it's still gonna be Monday, but it's Sunday over here in New York, and I'm taking a small break from this 2000 word paper that I have due tomorrow. I have to check out this new Bugsy Malone. But again, if you're new, these videos aren't gonna be as heavily edited as my usual reactions, so make sure you subscribe and check out some of my recent reactions. I typically edit these videos with annotations, with translations for slang and context and all of that. But listen, Bugsy Malone is a top tier lyricist. He's one of my favorite UK artists in general. So I don't want to hold y'all too much longer. Let's get it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that edit is cool. See the crack? Yeah. That's cold. That is cold. Folks. This is giving me like JDZ media vibes from back when he used to do those freestyles. Yeah. It's 2020 the darkest. All right then. I think it's his birthday too. Shout out to Buzzy Malone. Happy birthday. Listen. Yo, 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 yo. See when I get to deep thinking. I feel like a DiCaprio, but the ship is not sinking. Been watching these other. Alright, off rip is give him a daily W by the way. Just give him a daily W. I think he's probably done one already, but give him another one. I don't care. I feel like a DiCaprio, but the ship is not sinking. Been watching these other MCs in my rear view mirror to the point I had to start blinking. I've got to rethink it. I don't wanna get entangled, I'm not pinky. I keep a little 950 just as a blanket. Cause when I was young, I had 3k in the back garden. I had a 125 with no reg play. Hey, you mad. Didn't even have plastics on the bottom, but it was. The Hold on. He's wallin'. He's wallin'. He's wallin'. He's wallin'. Reg play, hey, you mad. Didn't even have plastics on the bottom, but it was the best bike I ever had. I said, I'm tired of constantly talking about the past. It's been a long time since I had to wear a mask and pulled up and kicked the door till there wasn't any glass. As if I've never had the wing on smash, keep a sword and a shield to my right and my left. I was on the battlefield doing Macbeth. You can keep the east and the south and the west. I'm the king of the north, but it tired of. So because this one isn't going to be super edited, Bugsy Malone is actually from Manchester, which is north of London. Um, so he's saying he's the king of the north, no, he's the king of that region. Dude, Macbeth, you can keep the east and the south and the west, I'm the king of the north, but it's tied on my chest and they're still trying to catch my fire in the boot numbers. I'm still getting paid for my MEN numbers, I'm looking at a box of 50s and... And MEN refers to his Manchester Evening News series, some of my favorite tracks that come out of the UK, some of my favorite visual pieces, stories, all of that. Bugsy Malone, too good. In the boot numbers, I'm still getting paid for my MEN numbers. I'm looking at a box of fifties and these hundreds and the beef ain't over till we're six feet under And I know he likes to stop man, I always get a memo If I'm dealing in boxes, I have to get a demo The looking at it like it don't belong on the curb But when you get a Rolls Royce, you can park on double yellows They can't relate to me anymore They taught like the plan wasn't to escape Like we didn't discuss living in Spain But when you really do it big, nobody celebrates Ah, oh, 92% healed, still limping See what happens when I... Ooh, I see what he's saying. So Bugsy Malone actually had a really bad accident early this year, so he's seen he's 92% healed. Yo, shout out to him, yo. That man is made of steel. Nobody celebrates, ah. Huh? 92% healed, still limping. See what happens when I get to deep thinking. When you're ready from the road and you blow and explode, starts feeling like your hometown and never stops shrinking. I was in Japan bumping into funds. Tell the label I don't need the advance. I was 21 before I'd ever used a bank. Me, I used to love rubber bands. Before I ever got a name on YouTube, I had 50. And I was dirty money, and I'd bring a lot with me when I had a music video. Now I see these new up and coming rappers, I can't really see that kind of dough. In MEM1, I had 20 in the bag, that's a laundering charge if they'd have come to the gaff. We used to rent art and apartments, so we could pull buckets of dank into the buff. When I think this deep, I never. It's like he just never runs out of things to talk about. That's what I love about Bugsy, yo. He's referencing himself. He's making bars out of his own songs. Like what? And one I had twenty in the bag. That's a laundering charge if they'd have come to the cuff. We used to rent our own apartments so we could pull buckets of dank into the buff. When I dig this deep, I never get no sleep. And the price of living is a cheap with a garden or a cleaner and a car and the vehicles are luxury, so they need cleaning every week. Huh? Turns out there's no one you can bring with you. But you're the only one to see the bigger picture. When you start wanting handouts, I just let the bridge burn like it was a blue slim Rizzler. I've never worked a day in my life, tell a lie, there was this one time I worked a 9 to 5 and I would come to work, 8 Zs on the... I'm not gonna hold you, right? 
I understand the edits and everything, but some of these things don't really need edits. I feel like it's kind of taken away from what he's saying. Like, they're pretty straightforward, you know what I mean? Black sea and I collect money on the top floor. Dinner time, I was a sheep dog. When a shepherd let me hold the beater. Ten years before I'd ever touched a meter. Playing team death match as if I was a soldier, but that's just modern warfare. Welcome to the bees nest, home of the killer bee. It's cold in the north, so we keep artillery. Made a couple of mil last year and the year before that. It's only right I make that a trilogy. We don't need lions in the camp, we got kings. Don't need a right hand when the jab stings, and you never need gas when you've really. Last year and the year before that, it's only right I make that a trilogy. We don't need lions in the camp, we got kings. Don't need a right hand when the jab stings, and you never need gas when you've really got straps and we've all taken losses. But we talking with class, and I lost, you see, a super fly past. Jesus. The killer be. It's cold in the north, so we keep artillery. Made a couple of mil last year and the year before that, it's only right I make that a trilogy. We don't need lions in the camp, we got kings. Don't need a right hand when the jab stings, and you never need gas when you've really got straps and we've all taken losses. But we told and say you don't need a right hand when the jab stings. So I don't even to use this backhand, son. This jab gonna do the work. We class and I lost you see a super fly past. And you can ask arms if we got it right back when we pulled up. Where we trying to hit me cups? And now they lucky that they never got kidnapped. They were bad on the phone when they seen us deflect. You win some, you lose some, you learn and adapt. I would never trust bitches. Don't set up the trap. Trust nobody. Stop money till you can relax. Welcome to the thoughts of a street kid that made it. Welcome to the mind of the one that went first. I left the door open so a man can go and get wages. Nobody this independent. They all signed to labels, and that's why a crown is my pendant. Hmm. I said nobody this independent. They all signed to labels, and that's why a crown is my pendant. That's when you know you got way too much money. So in this channel, we hold the vows. That means we're going to get straight into it. And this one gets just above a nine. Now, Bugsy Malone is hands down one of my favorite UK MCs, honestly, of all time. He has some of the most timeless music in my Spotify library, personally. Everything he's ever dropped has just been gold. He just continues to get better and better each and every single time. This track was the perfect example of how sometimes you don't gotta wild out on everything across the board to have a good track. Sometimes other aspects are gonna carry the song for you. And that's really why this one doesn't get a super high score for the flow, because he pretty much kept that same tone the whole way through. However, I do think that him doing that complemented everything else that was going on with this one. The beat just really caught me off guard. This one kind of reminded me of like a throwback you know, Dr. Dre beat or something. It just had so many just like small things in it. But I don't know, but just the impact that it had, it was just perfect. I think it was the way that he was spitting on it and just the kind of like nonchalant but still really aggressive tone that he had that made the beat just kind of feel... I don't know how to put it, this made the beat feel like so much more. I think if this beat was just played by itself, it wouldn't sound that spectacular. But again, this is an example of how it's the way that you construct the experience around everything that makes a song good. It isn't always about having wicked flows and having a super ridiculous beat and just to be wilding out with punchlines and all that all the time. Those things can work in conjunction with each other to make a good song. And that's exactly what he did on this one lyrically. He just keeps on growing every single time, like I said, he's reached a where he's able to reference his own success as it's happening talking about songs that he's released and all of those things he's one of those artists that i just always wonder like can he ever run out of things to say is he ever going to run out of stories because bugsy Malone has given us a lot of his life and his music so far his projects his eps his mixtapes all of that and he just keeps on finding a way to give us something new and it's something that i feel like i said when i reacted to um, manchester evening news 3 yeah he had a really traumatic experience but it's like through all of those things he just has these kind of revelations that evolves him and just gives him something else to talk about or allows him to speak about things from a completely different perspective and viewpoint but even with all of that he still managed to come through and give us some bars on this one there were metaphors in it there were references 
there was so much that I honestly don't always expect out of Bugsy Malone. I feel like his strongest point is usually his storytelling, his cadences, and all of that. So the fact that he came through with the wordplay, and honestly, Diddy Duppy-ish level wordplay too. But with all of that being said, the reason why this one just barely misses that perfect 10 for replay value is because it kept that tone so consistently. I feel like if this one had maybe just like a random beat drop out of nowhere, then maybe it wouldn't last more than let's say 8 bars or so, 8, 16 bars, I don't know, right? Maybe lasted for a little bit of time and it just came right back to that mellow. Or maybe even if that was like a recurring theme where like it went with that kind of lower tone, that lower tempo, and then just picked it up for a couple parts and then just went right back. That one probably would have given this one that perfect 10 because it would have had those shifts to make it a little bit more exciting to listen to. But nonetheless, Bugsy Malone is definitely one of those UK artists who's going to go down in history. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below and hang tight for some more reactions. I do got more of those coming for y'all, but until next time, peace.